Hey, hi, how are you guys doing? My I haven't name is... seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. My name is Psycho, and today we're playing Detroit Become Human. Uh, the game that's basically a movie, uh, but it's a really well-made movie. Um, but basically it's a choose-your-own-adventure, if you don't already know. Um, it's but it's t It takes place in the future where androids do everything for us. Well, we like own them, kind of, but it's basically a revolution. But it goes in the way you want to. So I thought I'd start a little series on this. Um, so and by the time, most likely by the time this is posted, um, my other watch, my second watchdog video will be up. I don't think I'm gonna be doing videos on that. It's not video content stuff. But um, we're gonna be playing this though, and it's really gonna be no like cuts. Did you know the motto of Detroit is? We hope for better things. Don't interrupt me again. Ever again. As I was trying to say though, what was it? What was I saying? Um. Oh yeah, there's not gonna be a lot of cuts like I do like my, like my with my uh like my Rainbow Six and my Modern Warfare stuff like that. Uh, it's basically gonna be straight, straight through, for the most part. Uh. So yeah, let's get on into it. tall building but yeah a lot of the androids can be determined by the circle on the right side of their forehead um, so those like there's a lot of people who are androids and this one is a detective um, this and there's two others that we will get to um, Thing is about this one though, it's I believe it is PS4 exclusive, so you can't get this on Steam. I think that Xbox. Wait, you're sending an Android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? There's a lot of like in these ones. There's um, it's basically find, trying to find out what happened. In these kind of situations. This is Connor, and we're still not completely sure what's going on. Hey, you're Captain Allen. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh, basically, so basically every choice, every dialogue option I make uh, completely affects what is going to happen in the storyline. I'm going to be going for pretty neutral. I'm not going to like just kind of screw the guys over. I'm not going to go for any like specific challenges. I'm going to go pretty neutral, try to make it and keep everything nice for the most part. And a lot of these ones will help figure out what happened. So, like in a lot of these, like after I figure out the gun stuff, now I know that the gun a gun was stolen. So help me, yeah, so it will help the chances. Like I said, forty eight percent chance. I know. I'm gonna try to get as much stuff as I can to uh, 
to figure or, or really try to figure out what happened. I want to say another thing, uh, warning, uh, not warning necessarily. That doesn't sound positive, but real quick, um, quick, not warning, per se, but heads up, um, there are, there is like, there is like blood and there is violence stuff like that, well, a lot of games I play are like that, but there are scenes of, ch of child abu abuse in parts and some sensitive subjects like drugs and other stuff like that. I just want to make, let you know because I mean, cause some people get affected by that. So just want to let you know. Oh, you're dead. Oh, is that, that, that was the guy in the picture, I believe. And then the woman was leaving below into the lung, I believe. Kidney, a bullet wound to the kidney. Oh, and a bullet wound to the stomach. Lower lung hemorrhage. I, th I think I'm pronounced that right. and father was holding something. Then he got shot. Some precision shooting right there. There it is. Deviants are what they call the androids who have turned, not turned, but woke, awoken so they can't be ordered around. That's not normal blood, is it? Just in there, never mind. That's normal blood, okay. Anthony Deckert, police officer. Almost said Poe Deckert. Internal bleeding. That's what that is. Yeah, I believe the blue stuff is the, like the robot blood. And another thing, if you die, you, that character dies. Like, oh, no, never, actually, never mind. Connor, since he's a company manufactured and he's working for the company, they'll constant uh, if you die if there's a certain point if you die he doesn't come back but it, um if you die then another one will come back it kind of it does affect your relationship with another guy that you work with but it's illegal but i'm gonna hold on to it you know just this Okay. Why is that important? That's just a news broadcast, I think. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing yep. for an assault. Oh, he's right. Oh, he's on the edge with the girl. That's what he was talking about. Pretty sh no, that's almost everything. 
should take down this asshole. Good shot. Oh. Well, that's one way to test substances, I guess. And he, they wanted a 700, so... I don't know what I pressed, I was just looking around. Excuse me there, buddy, you know. That is about everything. I, I'm gonna go, it's pretty high, I'm gonna take care of it. Ow. Closer, or I'll jump. I had it under control and you had to ruin it. Approach slowly. Let me be calm no, about angry, it. Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help you. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I just want all this to stop. Losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him, and I kill you. Uh, no, I'm gonna help him. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. I call this bluff. No, no. Totally. Totally you not. Don't have a gun. You're lying. Nope. I know you have a gun. No, I don't. It's illegal. I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. Yeah, you know, it's illegal for the uh I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Oh, there's a dead guy in the pool. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! Yeah, I got it. The situation is under control. There. I did what you wanted. <laughs> you have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine. Hey! Almost. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Mm. That's impossible, Daniel. 
Let the girl go. No, it's it's it's, go, it's going fine. So far, see, it's almost there. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. See, kindness okay. is always the easiest way. I trust you. Hey, I didn't tell. I didn't tell him to do that. That wasn't. That was not on me. Sorry, buddy. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. No, I didn't. I I told you what I was gonna do. I didn't tell you what they were gonna do. I'm just being honest. See, I didn't lie. Yeah, there's, there's those other two options too. Like I could, I, yeah, I could have killed myself and then saved the girl, which obviously would have brought another one in. But I, I was, I was close anyway. And if I used the gun, uh, like there's this, there's even a chance that he, she would have just like fallen off with him. Oh yeah, I've I've played this a few times. Um, I've done like I played it normally the first time. Um, I don't remember most of the choice. I haven't played this game in like two years, honestly. But, um, as you can see, um, wait, I sacrificed myself in one, I shot him, I, I think the girl fell with him, though, and then I, I, I was one, I was just going for, uh, I was going just for, what the hell, I just gotta screw over every character and kill them as soon as I possibly can, so I just screwed over Connor, and that's what happened, but, um, I don't remember really anything that happened during, I mean, like throughout the story. I remember some uh, aspects, like the basic things. Some of the big things, but um, I remember uh, like how the choices affect it sometimes. This is the top of the range household assistant. Hi. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two hundred languages and dialects. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school, up to university. Oh my gosh. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Oh yes. Forty-eight months interest-free credit. Very cheap. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. Not a bad deal, honestly, for an electronic robot that's going to do everything for you. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. It's now a different character. I don't remember her name. I there it believe is. it's the girl, though. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. Karen? What did you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Doesn't sound like an accident. Wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. Kara. My name is Kara. Yes, it is. And I just want to say, for a game that came out in 2017, by God, are the graphics just amazing. Everything about this is just visually stunning in every way. The voice acting is great. The, the, like the, I, the quality on the video isn't going to be as good, um, just because of my editing software and stuff like that. Well, it all depends on what device you're using to watch it, but um, on on a console, or especially on like a high-end PC or a top-of-the-line console, God, everything about this is just so great. 
and they make the character like the storyline so you actually get a feel for the characters after after a certain amount of time at least when you're playing I think this is like in 2060 or something like that, in obviously Detroit, Detroit Michigan, I think. It's, it's, it's in the future. 2038. A little off. Yeah, that's the girl in the, or at least it's the same jacket as the one in the, uh, the store. Would you like to go home now? Yes. Yes, I think that's enough for one day. Here. Let me help. I wouldn't trust, uh, I, like, I know they do everything, but I wouldn't trust my, my baby with one of these things. I wouldn't trust anything with one of these things. Oh, as you'll also notice, uh, people aren't very nice to androids. Speak the laws, Volsa. Ban the androids. Ah. The master. The master. Ah. We can no longer live without them. They're in our homes, our schools, our factories. They take our jobs. Word. They mind our children. They care for our old. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. We can no longer live without these slaves obeying our every selfish desire. Preach. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Hey. See the orange paper? Watched the game last night? Yeah, pretty good. Buccaneers won. Oh. Here you go. Just pretend I gave you money. I don't have any money on me. I don't have any pockets. It's prob uh, probably on like a credit card built inside my head or something like that. But. Uh, I'll give you a compliment. I'll pay you a compliment instead. Uh. Your beard looks nice. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. Why does his face look so stupid? Please confirm payment. I knew it. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete.
Let's we'll go around, you guys. Your signs look great. Yeah. Oh. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Signs look great, guys. Keep it up. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Yeah, you can. Not when you're kicking me. That guy with the beard and like a ponytail. It's it, that guy right there. He looks like. Fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. He looks like the guy, the bad guy from uh, Far Cry Five. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Have a good one, officer. Yeah, you are. We, I kind of noticed that. Oh no! Aww. Left without me. I believe Cyberlife is the person who, like the company, who makes all these. Yeah, there really wasn't anything else you could do on that one. <laughs> Cozy. Let me close the door for you, Todd. You've been gone for two weeks. So the yes, I have. Mess. Yes, I have, Todd. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice. A, a please Alice! couldn't hurt, Todd. Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. I kind of please couldn't hurt that much, could it, Todd? Wait, 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 what was it? What was it? Trash. Thanks! <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Huh? I'm recording. Huh? Detroit. Who needs to press the on button? We can just scan it. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know. TV's 
I, feel, I think I have that same, same sponge. Same color scheme as well. One side's like a sponge, the other side's like a scrub. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. A whole lot of mayonnaise. Oh, is this the Bruins? Sweet. Who's winning? Oh, right, your beer. You're welcome, Todd. What's that? Yeah, who's winning? What are you looking at? The TV. Get the fuck out of here. Just Get to know. the fuck out of here! Just want to know who was winning. I'll get back to work. Sorry. Roomba. The most expensive thing in here besides me. Alice, <laughs> you better stop that right now. Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. That's not laundry detergent. Beginning, like the first one, maybe two episodes, a little, a little boring to start out. It's just, it's just getting, it's just getting into it. It gets more into stuff. What am I supposed to do now? Since I was taught. Start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Red smoke. Smoke that is red. Oh wait, what's this? Bank stuff. B past due bills, rejected applications. I think I saw a, a eviction notice somewhere. Oh, that's what that was. care about any of the magazines they're just collectibles really don't give a shit like that like see all those are collectibles you can just read them and then it will show up in the main menu Now to get a quick getaway. She's definitely following me. She's just like appearing out of nowhere.
What was that? Magazine with a kid on it. Air Force is just not going to show it to us. Where did that flick over to? There's something on like a little sill. It flicked over to the, uh, the side, and then it, um... Watch it. Sorry, Todd. You know what, I'm, I'm just not gonna clean up your... your bullshit in there. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Ha, I've calculated in my robotic Alice brain my, of mine. Of course. It'll take me exactly two minutes on the dot. If it takes any longer, you get to slap me and feed me salt, uh, feed me Tabasco sauce. That's how it works. I've never been wrong about a time in my life, and because I got a robotic brain. It would have been way more funny if she legit said, like, I'll, I'll need, like, three minutes and 43.57 seconds. Ooh, is that going to open up another escape route? Spoopy. Seems you like reading. I was going to say, what is that? What is that supposed to do? Just, like, stare at it. Stare at whatever the hell is up there. Books, I guess. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. I you should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your I favorite feel like, foods. I feel like something ha really happened with her mother, like she died or... You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I want to ask her about... Your her mother, because I, I think, I think something. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? He, she trusts me. But yeah, you can get like relationships with characters. And sometimes that will unlock paths towards like certain things happening throughout. So if you if you didn't get up to the trusted level, if you didn't didn't really say. Like nice things like that. Um, like if you're like, like, hey, you hear Biden won the election, and 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 Brady's now on the Buccaneers. Like, I I don't understand any of that. Diplomatic. I'm like, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know if that's what it means. That's politic. Never mind. So she wouldn't have given me this key, which opens up whatever the hell's inside. So it would have been. Is that Todd? A skinnier Todd? Todd. And you made... I was gonna say, you draw. You do draw. It looks like Biff. From, um... From uh, what's it called? Fast? Uh, no, not Fast and Furious. Back to the Future. Got hit by a car. Stupid accident. Yeah.
then you lock it and then take the key because that's why it's locked you don't want him getting inside what are you doing uh, I'm playing Dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Doing. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Dun dun dun. Back to uh, Buzz Cut. Military Cut. <laughs> Way really different set of scenery. paintings it's a way different um, say a scenery than cars who's that hi wakey wakey eggs and eggs and bakey Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. <laughs> You're not gritting your teeth, you're gritting your dentures. It's a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh, um, that guy, Carl, the old man he's taking care of, that's, his, that's the, the voice actor for him is the same voice actor as uh, General Shepard from Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Um, definitely a way different likableness in the characters, though.
Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. So he's from Leo. So he's famous. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Dining room? Dining room. Nope, living room. Starving. Nope, dining room. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like. I knew it. Eggs and bacon. You're welcome. So what makes him so famous? Getting fan mail in a big ass house. Definitely a lot. Oh, he's an artist. He he must be an artist. Gee, I wonder how I figured that out. Um, giant man, giant paintings everywhere, art all over the place. Uh, modern art gallery. And he exhibit tonight. Ah, oh, he can't be a, he can't be an artist. He's got to be a WWE wrestler. Thank you, Marcus. Television. An actor or something like that. NFL superstar. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. No, I don't care about that. Jess. Oh, what else we got? Piao? Yeah. And what else? Looking at the skulls. Reading a book. I can't play chess by myself. I, I mean, I probably could. I mean, I'm a robot, but I'll play the piano. Maybe some tunes while you eat your eggs and bakey. That would be hopeful and Tim. Enigmatic. See, I don't know what half the, uh, what half the words are. Uh, those words mean. Um... Looks like a swing and go enigmatic. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Something has changed in the way you play. Yeah, I suck. <laughs> Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And how am I supposed to do that? Decide who you are and want to become. 
This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. I like Carl. He seems nice. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. That looks nice. Why are all these people cleaning? Like all they do is clean. It's gonna clean. Oh, that wasn't done cleaning yet. I don't get it. I've, I've never understood art. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Um, I don't know what it is, but I, I'll yeah, say I like it just to be nice. Mm. Say I something like it just to be I nice. Can't quite define. Me either. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man. It's not just you, it's everyone. It's every day that goes by closer to dying. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. I probably do. Try. try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <laughs> I'll paint a neuron schematic um, that's has as it has as many lines in it that the, that pie does. I can recite the entire pie to you. Pie to you. No, that's, that's plagiarism. Paint statue. Paint. That's kind of scary. I don't like that. I'll paint the desk. Wrong way. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it. I just imagine what something you see. I can just imagine what he would say if you actually painted your, his Girl, painting. I think I can do that. It's not in my program. I if you painted this picture, like, like, are you kidding me? Th this this painting took me took me weeks, and it legit took you thirty seconds to make the exact copy. Why do I even bother? Why don't I just make you paint everything for me? That will give me money. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. 
Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Just start snoring. Freaking falls asleep. Um, try identity. None of those are. None of those are like. I mean, despair is kind of depressing. Prisoner is. I mean, technically he is a prisoner, but I don't want to go for like that. I don't want to be like. Like a like a rebel, like humans kept us. So I'll go doubts. Just the micro it's just like a microwaved image of myself. Uh who are you? Hey Dad. Oh, hi. Leo. I didn't like hear you come in. <laughs> intruder no, I alert. I thought I'd stop by. A random a while, hobo right? walks into your house like, hey, nice paintings. You alright? You don't look so good. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey listen, uh I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You've According loved to you, he only cares about me, too. You never loved me. No, he does love you. He's not giving you... He's not... He's not keeping you high. He's protecting you. But you can't always get what you want, so... <laughs> Uh, it seems like like it's pr it's pretty based. It's a pretty big base into the beginning of the story. So um, I'm gonna end it off here. But so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.